Greetings everybody. In this session, we'll be discussing the graded assignment of computational thinking uh, week 2. This is the very first part of this uh, video, solutions video. In order to get access to the, uh, to the second part as well, uh, we request you to say, say subscribe to the channel and along with that, you're, re you're also requested to pay the required uh, or the advisable fee in order to get access to all the perks. So let us start the assignment. This is the first question which you can see found false count cards equal to 0 found is false and count cards is 0 this is great and another card what does this another card mean another card means are there any other cards left in pile 1 this is what is the simple word which has been replaced instead of using the complete uh, sentence which I told just now and not found if you see found is false and not of false is a true therefore this is what the decision box is checking for and if they and if this is a true that is if the total result is a true then we move on to the next then, then we move on to the next branch which checks for the correct card or not if the picked up card is the correct card or is a suitable card if that is the suitable card then we update found with the true if it is not the suitable card or if it is not the required card then we increment the value of count cards by one so this is an repetitive process again this process all over all here comes again to this point and it and it goes on to be a repetitive cycle which is termed as iteration so let us find out the first question's answer if the correct card is found after 11 iterations 11 iterations of another card after 11 that, mean, that means the correct card is the 11th so this is the 11th card that means this has this got executed successfully for 10 times So that means this goes on to be 10. So as the as the as, as the eleventh card is the correct card here, the correct card is the eleventh. Then what is the value of count cards? Zero initially, zero plus one for the first card, two for the second card, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As there are ten cards. And the 11th card being correct, the value will be 10. And now coming to the second question. Let us use the scores data set and the correct card is the user is the user's requirement. How many possible scorecards does the iteration go through if the user requirement is found in the first card of and all the other cards do not match? That is, if we if we observe the scores data set. There are th there are a total of 30 cards, right? The scores data set has 30 cards in total. That means we start from 0 and end with 29. And picking up the correct card is what the user's requirement is. If the user requirement is found in the first card itself, that is this is this will be the correct branch. We'll move on with the yes. And if it is the correct card, that is, here it is not the 11th card, but the first card, then we move with the yes, but not with the no. As we picked up the five, as we picked up the very required card in the very first attempt, so this goes on to be true. After moving this to be true, what is happening? We are again going all the way to here. Another card and not found. Yes, there are there are rest. There are 29 other cards but not of true is what not of true is a false right so what happens not of true is a false and another card yes there is another card and not of true is a false not of true is false no branch Oh, 
here in the question if you see they are asking us how many possible scorecards does the iteration go through if the user requirement is found in the first card itself if you see as i said you not of or not of true is false therefore this stops here itself so this is the complete process is terminated when did this process get terminated that is the flow chart get terminated after visiting only one card which is the first card therefore the second answer will be option d which is one and now coming to the third question the following procedure finds the minimum marks in chemistry scored by a male remember this chemistry marks and gender is a male so these are the two points upon which we have to stress uh, or we have to concentrate upon may have made mistakes in one or more steps identify such steps if any so arrange all cards maintain a variable with first chemistry where gender is m if gender is male and chemistry is greater than minimum chemistry if you see here it should be less than equal to right it should not be less than equal to as well it should be only less than if i am not wrong because we are always checking for the least marks right therefore this should happen to be uh this should be the error right so line number 5 is an error let me erase this update chemistry to be minimum chemistry no 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 that should not be the case we should update minimum chemistry with that chemistry marks right so they have written in a reverse way they should have been chemistry if we are if you are updating chemistry with minimum chemistry then what happens is that that student marks will be stored with the previously least marks right therefore step 5 and step 6 are the wrong steps here a programmer my has written the following algorithm to find the number of students who are below average marks in scores that are set again this is a um, uh, find the mistake type of question arrange uh, arrange average marks calculate average marks are stored into average marks this is a variable right initialize student count with zero yes this is true because without having read any cards we can never initialize the student count to be some positive value so this is also correct stop iteration when pile one is empty good read one top card great if average total marks is less than equal to total yes see here if you observe this we should have checked it to be total less than equal to average this must have been the step right but here they have written ulta ulta that is in the reverse order therefore step 6 is an error here the shopping bills data set contains shop names big bazaar sv store sun general supermarket okay so we will uh, discuss the rest questions in the part 2 which will be provided to the ones who were subscribed